Sudah. Thank you. How are you? Are you excited? Okay. We haven't seen you for a week. Today, I'm going to be talking about a nuclear symbol. But before I start talking about nuclear symbol, now I will give you some words that you should know in this topic. The first word is substance. I want you to look on the board, and when I read this word, I want you to. Repeat after me, okay? Yes. Okay. Substance. Substance. Substance means sun. Sun. No, 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 no. Just only sun. Okay? This is not your this is physics. Okay? What? Yeah. Yes. 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 You talk to me, please. You don't mind. I want you to repeat that to me. I don't want you to translate it. You don't mind. You don't mind. Go ahead. Go down. Okay. You don't mind. You don't mind. Ah. Good. 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 And the next word, um, composition. Composition. Wow, so the color. And what we should do is chart. Uh, chart. Repeat after me, please. Chart. 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 This cat ion, this is not cat ion, but what we say cat ion. Understand? Yeah. When you speak, it's very fast. It just sounds like cat ion. And this ion, when you speak slowly, but when you speak faster, it's anon. Understand? Anon. So, please don't be confused when I speak anon. When I, when I say anon, you should understand it's an ion. Understand? Okay. This will be the few words that you should know in this topic today. And the next thing that I'm going to show for you guys is I have two figures in my hand. Can you see? It's a, yeah. what, what is in my hand? There are two figures in my hand. In my left hand, wait, sorry. In my right hand. This is a water. This is water. What's that water mean in Thai? Yeah. Can you read this water? Do you want to read? Want to try this? You're green, you're not right. Yeah, In my left hand, is it, what is it? So, 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 or inside, here. What we use so for? What we use so for? Don't say it, get it on my left hand. Uh, you use so for cook? Okay, you use so for cook it. These two things, water and salt, we call substance. You sign. Okay, I have a topic for you. First thing, substance. I have to substance for you. Water. Nah. Salt. Clear. But have you ever had to doubt what is the composition of salt? And what is the composition? Sorry. What is the composition of water? You have learned chemistry, right? So you know what's the molecular I'm sorry. So you know what is the molecular formula of water? 
is H2O and sorry, sodium chloride, right? So the composition of water is uh, water the composition of water is two atoms a commander but, but when you say English, you should say atoms, okay? But by law, atom two atom of hydrogen two atom of hydrogen and one atom of Oxygen. oxygen. Two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen are uh, combined together with chemical bonds and it's produced water. Do you understand that? We use capital H for the symbol of hydrogen and we use capital O for the symbol of oxygen. And now come to the salt. What is the composition of salt? So in chemistry, it's named Sodium chloride. So it consists of one atom of sodium. Sodium. Uh, and the symbol of sodium is in a. Very good. And one atom of chlorine, not chlorine. Chlorine. Uh, Part of 
substance. You may hear that piece of corn? Sun. And what is the fundamental particle in atoms? In atoms, there are three fundamental particles that you, you already know, but you don't understand because I speak English. But when I speak Thai, it's very easy to understand. They are, they are all. Now what I mean? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. They are three fundamental particles. They are three particles. Sorry, I forgot all particles. The S, we have to pass S because it's plural. You know The S is one thing. Come on. There are three particles in atoms. Uh, which is the first particle we call protons. Proton. Which uh, the charge of proton is positive. Positive is a charge of proton, right? Understand? Yeah, yeah. Proton has a positive charge. Proton is to And the next particle is electron. The electron has a negative charge. Positive or negative? No. Positive, Okay. Okay, and the next, the last particle is neutrons. Neutrons. Uh, is there any charge of neutrons? Neutron is neutral. Neutron pen. Uh, so we use a zero for neutron. Neutron is neutral. Neutron is neutral. Neutral, get it up. Neutral, pen. Okay? Understand? Yeah, I hope you understand me. This T. <laughs> I'm sorry. These three particles is a fundamental particle of an atoms. And the difference between the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in each element makes the difference of each element. Okay. But now I want you to look at the model of atoms or atomic models. This is a circle. Okay. Inside the circle, we have something that called nucleus. Nucleus. Inside the nucleus of atom, or atoms, there are proton and neutron living together like a husband and a wife. You look at what's happening, but yeah. Uh, but if she's in time, it's moving around nucleus, it's electron. Electron is moving. Moving in circle around the nucleus of atoms. Inside the nucleus, there are proton and neutron. Okay, this is a basic model of an atom, or we call atomic model. Understand? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But now come, what's this hydrogen at all? What's it? Oxygen at all? What is? What is this? In a sodium. What is it? Chlorine. Chlorine. They are different elements because they have a different particle. Do you understand that? Okay, so check. For example, atom of hydrogen. I want you to show you an atom of hydrogen. Boom! I want you to show out. Could you please clean the board for me? Thank you. Now we have a. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Cambodia. Understand what I speak to you, so because I'm going to take the whole thing. 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 I'm going to take the I want you to show the difference between hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Hydrogen. Uh, the number of protons in hydrogen. Proton is one. There are one proton in hydrogen atoms. Electrons. And there are one electrons in hydrogen atoms. But you 
neutrons and zero. There's no neutron in hydrogen at all. Understand? This is what you should know. You should remember it is like this. Okay, now it's come to oxygen. Oxygen. The number of protons in oxygen is eight. The number of electrons I add is S because they are plural. Okay? Because there is no S because it's just singular. One bit A got what? Animal pang wo? What? Okay, electrons. They are eight electrons in oxygen. Electrons. And neutrons is eight two. On the board, that you can see on this diagram, you can see that hydrogen and oxygen has different proton number. Is that? Oxygen and hydrogen mean the non proton pack. Oxy also, oxygen and hydrogen have a different number of electron twos. So, when you have that, it's just in our daily life, you come from different family, right? We have different father, we have different mother. So, we walk, we met, we walk. So, yeah. by learning. Hydrogen and oxygen has different fundamental particles. So it makes different elements. Understand? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.